Hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about primary keys, point keys, composite keys, and different types of relationships. So first of all, let's talk about primary keys. I did talk about this in the previous videos as well, but briefly, a primary key is a key that can uh, we can use to uniquely identify a record in a table. So as you can see, I have created a student table here, which and um, it has two fields: a student ID and student name. Um, so the reason why we are using, as I said, we need to uniquely identify a record. So when we go to the design view, uh, this there's a small icon here, and that's what says that it is the primary key. So in my case, the student ID is a primary key, and I have used short text um, as a data type. So, um, so if we go back to the data sheet view, I cannot, if I add a new record as is 001, and if I try to add a student name, it will not allow me to, um, because it's, um, the student ID is SO1 has been already used. So, and since it is, it is the primary key, primary key cannot be used into a different record. The same primary key cannot be used into a different record. So instead I'll edit this and yep. And that's a new unique ID so that works. So now uh, to show you guys what a uh, foreign key is, I created a different table called locker table, which has a locker ID and locker location. So each student will have one locker and one locker will have one student. So that's a one-to-one -one relationship. So uh, if I go to the design view of this, I have put the locker ID as auto number and locker location as short text. Um, we don't actually need the locker location because even it was, I mean, lockers can be in different locations, but one locker will only have one ID. And, um, so I'll just cut that. And so if we go here, I'll save it. And then, um, so, so when we allocate this, so because it's one-to-one -one relationship, um, locker ID and student ID. So I'll go back to design view. And I'll add student ID. All right. So then um, here we can see relationships. If I open relationships. Um, these are. So we have the student table and now I'll put the locker table as well. All right, so at this point we, um, as the person who made the database, we know that the student ID is this, but in the database, we haven't linked it. So there is no, this is not a relationship. There is no relationship in this. So how do we do that? I'll Double click on the student ID in the student table, drag it on to, on to the student ID in the locker table. So student ID in the locker table is a foreign key. Okay, so here we need to enforce referential ID. I did uh, explain what these three meant, but a recap, um, enforced referential ID means that um, the foreign key which is student ID in the locker table, will always refer to the student IDs in the parent table, which is the student table. So we cannot add any IDs which are not in the student table. Uh, student table. And then cascade update related fields is that if we make a difference, a change in the parent table, which is the student table, student ID field, the same changes will happen to the uh, foreign key in the locker table. Also, uh, cascade delete related records means that if any um, primary key is relate, uh, deleted in the student table, the, the those 
primary key, uh, those um, foreign keys in the locker table will also be deleted. So don't worry about um, relationship type uh, one to many here. We can fix that. Um, it's just that uh, one to one relationships actually don't exist. Um, <clears throat> we need to separately go into the design view and change that. Okay, so student ID, student ID, we take these three and create. So there you go. The, um, it says one to many, so one, and this is the infinity sign, which means many. All right, so what I said before. So what we should do is uh, the foreign key is in the locker table. So let's op open the locker table. And then if we, um, if we go to the design view, <clears throat> um, and if we go to student ID here, how do, so in, because it's a one-to-one -one relationship, the student ID will not be repeated. So if the student ID is repeated, that means uh, according to the local table, um, many students will be using one locker and that is not allowed. So here, when we say indexed and yes, duplicates, okay, that means that the student ID, which is the foreign key is allowed to be duplicated. But no, we're not going to duplicate it. So we should say, yes, no duplicates. And that's how you fix the one-to-one -one relationship. So we'll control, press control S and save that. And we, if you go to the data sheet view and here, because I put the locker ID as auto number, I do not have to um, type, uh, I'm, they won't allow me to type anything in the locker ID. So student ID, if I put something as S006, I don't think it can allow. No, it doesn't allow because it uh, because we put referential integrity. I cannot put an ID which is not already in the student table. All right, so if I put three and if I type the next one, yep, that is allowed because S S um S003 is already in the student table. And that is how you create foreign keys and how you relate them. All right, so now let's talk about composite keys. So composite key is a key, it's, it is a foreign key, but made out of two fields of the same table. Um, it's a combination of two or more columns, basically. So in this case, in this scenario, um, we have two classes called 12A and 12B. And uh, as the data type of both the tables, I have put auto number for the student ID. So, and in the third table, we are creating achievements, which is a, um, a one-to-many relationship. Um, so here in the achievements table, if we only put student ID, forget that there was something called student name, and there was only student ID column and the awards column. If we put one, we will be confused whether it was uh, one from 12A or one from 12B. So it's, it's gonna be Hana, it's going to be Anne or Hannah. So that's a bit confusing. So in that case, we can um, put the student ID and student name, which is two fields. So we have student ID, student name, student ID, student name in both the tables. So we can use both the columns as a single primary key. So in the 12A table, student ID and student name are both the primary key. So because it's two columns and it's not just one column or one field used as the primary key, we call it a composite key. So the composite key for the 12A table is student ID and student name. Um, uh, primary key or composite key for the 12B class is student ID and student name. So we, can, we, have, we must put student ID and the student name when referring to the students, and then we can put the awards. So therefore it will be less confusing and much more clear and easier to refer to. And that is student ID, um, composite keys. So now let's move on to database. There are three types of relationships. One is one-to-one -one relationship, the example we did here, the locker table. And the second type of relationships is one-to-many. And the third type is many-to-many. -many. 
So as we did one to one already, which is the locker table and how we uh, set it to one to one. Uh, so now let's move on to one to many. All right, so now let's talk about one to many relationships and many to many, many, to many relationships. Um, so here I created a subject table. Um, so this is the subject ID and this, these are the subject names. Um, so if I go to the design view, I have put subject ID and subject name both as short text. And um, so now, then I'll show you guys the other table that I created, which is the sub uh, students subjects table. So this is where we are going to create the main to many relationship. All right. So if I enter some data here, I'll put this. Um. All right. So this is the primary key. So I must add them. Why they don't that why they allow me to enter other records without using this is without is because I haven't done validation for presence check or like I haven't put any rule as the student ID or subject ID it must be that. All right. So if I save this, I haven't still created the relationships. I'll create it with you guys. Um, this can be a recall for you all. So yeah. So if I go to relationships here. I need to close these tables or else they'll not me they'll not let me allow uh, they'll not allow me to edit the relationships. All right. So keep a locker table on the side. Student table. Then I'll add the subject table. And the student subject table. Oops. Right, so I'm going to keep this in the middle because that's the one going to get data from the subject table and student table. So if we keep things like this, it's going to be much clearer. So how am I going to relate this? Hope you guys can remember. So from the origin parent table, which is student table, I'll take the student ID, drag it here, drop it on the foreign key, Take these three so that it's a proper relational database and one to many and create. So there we go, a one to many relationship. So this is a one to many relationship. And as I did in the uh, locker table relationship, I will not be going to the design view and say, um, no dupli I won't be saying no duplicates because then it will be a one-to-one -one relationship. So we'll leave it this way and it is perfectly a one-to-many relationship. All right, so how do we create a many-to-many -many relationship? So in Access or any sort of um, database um, software, we cannot create many-to-many -many relationships um, just from two tables. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to create two one-to-many relationships. So this is one relationship. And if we create this relationship, one to many. So if I do that, it's going to be subject ID to subject ID with the three ticks. It's already a one to many. Create. Just like I did this one, I'm not going to go back and put no duplicates. It's already duplicates. Um, okay. So then we have... So here it's in infinity sign, which is many. Then here also is it, it is infinity sign, many. So that's there. You have a many to many relationship. So just to make sure that I haven't changed the duplicates. Okay. I'll go back to I'll press control S. So it's saved. Close the relationships. Um, yeah, this table. I'll go to design view. So it's automatically indexed as, wait, that's the primary key. So if I go here, duplicates, okay, that's wonderful. And duplicates, okay, again, wonderful. Sometimes just like I did, so the cursor is already in the primary key. So obviously there's no duplicates. So don't try to change that or anything. Just go to the next fields and check.
so yeah that's basically all the types of primary keys and relationships if you guys have any questions put them down in the comment section i'll be happy to answer thank you hope to see you with another video